Hello, Kung Fu Fruit Cup here, joining you all this evening. Tonight, we have on Duango AC and Soren, who've been showing off Triforce Percent Showcase. It was amazing, and so it's so cool to learn more about it. This is the Triforce Room scene. This is how it looks to make custom scenes in Blender for Ocarina of Time. There is a plugin called Fast64 and a plugin called Zcam Edit. Um, there are probably like 10 people who have made major contributions and many people who have made minor contributions to Fast64. And Zcam Edit was written by me. Um, and I actually wrote it because the existing tools for creating cutscenes in Ocarina of Time were uh, pretty difficult to work with. So uh, this is, you know, I made this as a as a replacement. So for example, this is the cutscene um, when Link hits the Triforce. Um, you will see on, let me restart this, on the left is the scene, and on the right is the view from the camera, which is flying around. And let me select the camera if I can find oh. it here. Here, no, no, that's Link. Where did it go? Here it is. So this is the camera, and you'll see the camera flying around on the left. These black things, which turn orange when I select them, these are representing the camera motion. So for example, so for example, this one is representing how the camera swings around from the starting on the left side and swings around and, and climbs up like this. So the process of creating the cutscene is like editing these and moving them around and like previewing it and looking on the right and seeing how it looks and, you know, playing with it until it looks good. Um, so, you know, this is the Triforce scene in Blender. And you can't hear it. This is just on my local computer, but I have the music. So I, you know, uh, you know it's playing the music to me. And I edited the scene to, to adjust to, you know, match the timing of the music. Um, and I have to just guess what it looks like when Link is like, you know, this is Link, this arrow, this is Link. He walks in, climbs up the stairs, um, you know, I have to sort of guess what it will look like when he's in front of the, uh, you know, in front of the Triforce chest and everything. And you can actually see if I if I zoom in here, um, there's like a bunch of stuff here at the origin that says that there's the Triforce chest, there's um, the, the Triforce pieces themselves. So there's three uh, separate instances of the same actor for the three Triforce pieces, which have some programmatic animation that will go through and, and you know, rotate around and everything. Um, that was actually, I could have done the animations as like, properly animated, but that was back at a time when we didn't really know how we were going to do everything um, in the project. And we, we thought we might have only a few, you know, a few dozen kilobytes of, of a code that we could inject. And so we had, everything had to be really small. So the Triforce, it's it's programs that run the animation. It doesn't have the animations pre-baked. It's like generating them. Um, and so it's only like a few hundred bytes of code, a, a few hundred bytes for the Triforce behavior because it's you know, because it was created that way. But anyway, this this goes through, um, you know, he, he gets the Triforce and then this is the scene for, um, you know, he walks down, he's hearing the goddesses. And when we want to put in text boxes and stuff, I select the cutscene. Then I go in here. This is like editing the cutscene. I have text box list, and then I have all of these different, you know, text box message, you know, message ID, message ID, and it comes up at this frame. It exits at this frame, and then what those look like is, yeah, this is what the messages look like. So you know, it is we, the golden goddesses, unskippable everywhere. Um, you know, changing color, text speed, and everything. Um, what do you link? What do you wish for? Three choices, that kind of stuff. Um, and here in the scene, I also want to mention um, the message ID for the text that says you got the Triforce is hex A-C-E. <laughs> That's perfect. Tee -hee. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> you got the Triforce after, you know, you got the color yellow, Triforce color white, quick text disable new line after 23 years, you know. So that, that's how this works, um, you know, when we want to make things like this. Um, you know, chic dialogue and everything. And the, the whole the whole thing is in here. So we had to inject this also. This was part of that statically linked um, data that I talked about before. Um, oh. So let me just talk about another show, a couple of quick scenes um, here. So this is Link. This is Breath of the Wild Link. Uh, this was mostly made by Ali1234. Um, took the uh, actual model from Breath of the Wild and then put it through a bunch of programmatic reductions in like poly count, like, uh, you know, mesh simplifications, and then did a bunch of extra ones by hand and redid the textures by hand, um, or like sort of fixed, fixed them up by hand. And then I rigged Link, 
uh, I created this the armature, um, and he has um, like no bones in his hands. Um, so there's like there, this is this is his lower arm. It just you know that's all. There's no there's no bones in the hands or the fingers. But he has six bones in his hair because the hair is important. We have these ones that move around. We have these that move like multiple parts. So they can just like wiggle in the wind and look realistic. The ponytail, um, six bones in the tunic to move each part of it so that, um, well, they just rotate um, so that it looks realistic with the physics. And then um, we have his animation. So the animations were done by several, several people. Um, they're in the credits, uh, but here's, here's Link speaking. Zadada hime arigato, and then isho ni mirai wo tsukunimashoka. And I'm sure you folks in the chat can correct my Japanese pronunciation. I don't speak Japanese. I just, you know, memorize those two lines. Um, so yeah, we had to, you know, I did the lip flaps. I created his lip flaps for all of the the lines. And so, you know, listening to this over and over and, and uh, you know, animating the, the rotation of these corners of his mouth and everything. Um, and then you, you can also see the hair is not, is, uh, is dynamic. The hair does not move. The animation just has the hair just stuck there. Um, so that's calculated on the fly. The code for the hair physics is released. Um, so you can use that in your own ROM hacks if you want. So this scene actually has references to the Breath of the Wild, uh, Breath of the Wild Link and Zelda. Sorry, this is taking so long to load. I'm not actually sure what's happening with that. I have a pretty, pretty You're fast streaming computer. streaming at the same but... time. <laughs> right, there's a lot yeah, going but on. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of cores. It should be, should be fine, but... Um, Anyway, so it has references to the other scenes. Um, so Breath of the Wild, um, oh, it's compiling shaders. That's what it's doing. Um, so Breath of the Wild, Link and Zelda can be in the scene, but they're not actually properly, um, like they'll just slide around. Um, so like, here's the cutscene. camera comes in, goes up Link's body, goes around, and then he just slides forward. <laughs> so that's, you know, it, it, it tells him to change to you know, forward walk mid pace action and then slide him around to there. And then, you know, Zelda comes in and changes her to uh, from invisible to visible and then descends. Um, and yeah, this was, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of effort put into getting all of these shots just perfect. Um, I must have a hundred times gone back and you know, tweaked a camera position and then watched the ending again. And, you know, I mean, this happens in any production. This isn't like me. This is just, this is how you make games. So, you know, that's what we had to do. Um, here's the, you know, camera goes out into the sky for the Twitch messages, talks to, they, they, uh, Zelda says, you asked to see our future. Here it is, gesturing at the audience. Um, and then, you know, Link's dialogue and then, that's that's that. So uh, yeah, Twitch Twitch messages you can see is an actor out here in the sky um, that is that is rendering the messages. Uh, we we have the you know injected all of the Twitch emotes and all the Twitch badges and everything, and it parses the what you what it gets from the Twitch API and sends that over controller input. And uh, you know, for any more questions, get triforce.link is our website. Um, you know, we have an FAQ that has a lot of things explained. It has the full list of what things were left on the cartridge, what things were beta content that was not on the cartridge that we remade, and what things we completely made up. That's uh, the, the list is there on the website. A lot of resources. There's a link to the source. The, this all the code that we that we created that we released. There's a link there. There's a link to all of our partners' videos. Please check them out. The Swanky Box video is at like 1.2 million views, so we're very thankful about that. Wow. Um, 